Hey everybody, HMV here. I am our Kerbal Space Program, and I have just driven all around the Kerbal Space Program, Kerbal Space Center, I should say, um, with uh, Jeb driving and Bob doing all the resetting of the science and getting the EVA reports. And now we're going to recover this vessel and see what we get. I had somewhere in the vicinity of 50 to 60 different science units. Um, 295 science total, 236 on this run, totally worth the 20 minutes of time I wasted. Um, in order to, uh, to gather the science, I suppose. Um, we still have nothing good. I'm just going to cancel this because I just don't want it. Oh, we can do satellites now, though. Um, do I really want a geosynchronous satellite as part of my network? Um, the thing is, I don't have any relay antennas. Antennae? Antennas? Um, so maybe this isn't worth it. However... If I could, if I could have the satellite do all three of these things, that would be a really good idea. We also actually both of these things because we only have two satellite contracts. We also have this uh, rendezvous in the moon, which is what I wanted to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Let's make a pair of rendezvous. And let's see. I think we just did lithium, so it's going to be beryllium. Uh, yeah, lithium one got us to the moon hydrogen one got us into orbit or is it helium one helium two got us into orbit let's go ahead and load up helium two and see what it looks like here we don't need to dock we just need to rendezvous right rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. so actually this might do it if we get rid of these get rid of these get rid of these for these and then put this back on that should do it right get two vessels in orbit of Kerbin we don't need to worry about science at all we just want to we just want to get them into orbit and match their orbits up right yeah and we then test a Mark, Mark 16 parachute as it's coming down. Um, we're going to throw drogue shoots on these guys. Or a drogue shoot on these guys. Because that's too slow to get to um, otherwise. And I'm going to put the drogue shoot right here on the side. Just one of them. So that you can slow down to the point where we can get this contract. And then we'll, we'll do it on both. And then we're testing the hammer at the launch site. So that'll just happen. Looks fair to me. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, oh, and this is not the helium two though. This is the beryllium one. L O I U M. I actually don't know how to spell beryllium. I'm hoping that's right. Let's go ahead and save this and uh, launch it. We're not even spending the science we got. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? Ah, let's just do it. Computer on. Actually, computer off. Fix the staging. Let's hit a five here. And Jeb three two one launch. Let's see what this does for us as far as as far as uh, the gravity turn is concerned. Not enough. Definitely not enough. Yeah, I think I'm going to ditch the hammers. For the next one, beryllium two is going to ditch the hammers. You know, let's go ahead and do this, and do that, get rid of that guy. I still think we can make orbit. Boom! Jeb is in orbit with plenty of fuel to spare. Let's go ahead and head back to the space center. See if we got any other nice things. Rescue somebody. We're never going to do that. Position a satellite. I don't see anything that I really want to do. The only thing I'm really willing to do right now is anything that's like at the launch pad. And we're not going to carry a protect protective shell all the way there. So let's go ahead and make a quick change to the beryllium line of rockets. Let's make beryllium two. We're going to get rid of these. We're going to get rid of these. 
We're going to do this, although this is completely wrong. We are going to put just a single hammer on the bottom here. It's a weird way to do it. I'm actually changing my mind already. Put the hammer here. There we go. These two guys, and then the hammer along with this, and then this along with this. That's the way you do it. And what we're going to do here, I think I can get away with this. We'll find out in a moment. Um, fins, we're going to do the Delta Deluxe on this guy. And I don't think he needs, I don't, whoops, I don't think he needs fins at all. There we go. Okay, let's give this a shot. Save it and I'll launch it. And I didn't check to see if Valentina went in this one, but she should. She did. Okay. Three, two, one, launch. That was completely wrong. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we don't actually we don't want these. We want to take this and put it into here. Yeah, it's staging problems. Save it and I'll launch it. <laughs> At least I have a screenshot for the uh, for the video. Okay, three, two, one, launch. Much slower launch could be a problem. Much slower launch is going to be a problem. I don't think Valentina's going to space today. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, uh, let's revert the flight to vehicle assembly. Yeah, what is wrong? What is wrong is we don't have the oomph that we used to have. So let's go back to what we had before. Uh, let's put this, let's get rid of you. We definitely don't need two decouplers here. But I want these is the thing. I want control more than I want uh, not control. <laughs> um, but I think, I think we need the hammers. I think we need the hammers and I think we need them up here. Let's try that trick that I, that failed on my other one here. Let's put the hammers. Actually, let's just put them down here. Um, engines, hammers, like that. And then if we put a launch clamp on, actually, we could probably get away with something like this. But I think I'm going to want to do one more. Because when you have a working system, you definitely, that's what you want to do is change it. And we're going to hit T right away. And we're going to realize that everything is completely wrong. There we go. Get rid of these. Then that. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Now, if the hammers manage to miss the fins when they detach we should be good and they did so now we can crank this guy down as quickly as possible this is a better launch than Jim's so I think we're gonna I think we're gonna call this a win however what are we looking at as far as our apoapsis is concerned now it's garbage okay ugh Concerned that the uh, that this guy is going to have a lot of trouble keeping the the ship straight, but ah uh, maybe not. Yeah, hold prograde. We're already at 50. Maybe we should instead of holding prograde, we should crank it down to the horizon here. The terriers do have a ridiculous ISP for this early in the game. For any stage of the game, really, there. Maybe not ridiculous, but it's good. Now Jeb is in an 84-ish kilometer orbit, so we're gonna get her peri or her apoapsis up to 84, and then coast on up. She's already 60 kilometers up 
Oh, that's cute. I could get both. There we go. So as soon as her apoapsis gets to 84, she's going to coast up to it, get into an 84 by 84 orbit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to... Jeb over here is going to burn up so that she comes back down to it. That's the idea. And there's a station right there. I was thinking about those stations, and I think it would be cool in uh, career mode if you started out with no stations, and then you could buy them. And you wouldn't have to, like, go out there and or anything like that, but you would have to... There we go. 80... You wouldn't have to go out there and like land or anything, but you would have to uh, you would have to decide where to put them and then pay for their for their being builtness. <laughs> um, I think that would be kind of a cool thing. You could even start with a couple and then have to pay for more, something like that. I think that would be I think that would be really cool. Something I'm sure a mod is going to probably do very soon. And maybe not even pick where they go. Just, just you have this the big list of potential sites, and then you just have to pay to get them. Okay, Val should be in a nice orbit here. She is. So now it's Jeb's turn in the Beryllium One. Let's go ahead and switch to him. Crazy music changes. Let's go ahead and set Val as our target, and then right around here, we're gonna want to add a maneuver. So we're nice in the sun. This is not doing anything close to what I want, probably because our orbits are terribly aligned. So let's go ahead and fix that first. Right here at the descending node, we're gonna burn up to get this guy right about there. It should be zero, yes. And then also it looks like we might need a little bit of radial. Just to align our orbits so they're really nicely perfect with each other. Okay, 28 meters per second, well spent. In one minute and 20 seconds. There we go. Now our orbits are very close to each other. Close enough. So now if we, now if we burn up... Yeah, see, this is not telling me what I want to know. What if I put a maneuver node here that doesn't do anything? Yeah, see, it wants to tell me what's going on here. I wish, yeah, just, I wish I wait, may, I wish I might. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put the maneuver node here because that's what the game wants me to do. And actually what we can do here is, we could actually do that and then assume that's right and then drag it around here and do it here. And actually, boom, there you go. Why didn't you show me that before? There we go, 7.1 kilometers. That's definitely close enough to get things working. So three second burn in six minutes. Okay. Should be pretty darn good. Just tweaking it here, 7.2 kilometers apart. Very good, okay, now we're gonna warp to here. It is really cool watching the little radar lines going. Okay, now, are we close enough to do this? Probably. We want to get our prograde vector heading towards our target right now. There we go. Now we got 1.4 intercept. So let's go ahead and warp to here. I actually don't know how close we have to get to each other. Rendezvous. Note, have two different vessels in orbit of Kerbin within visual range. That must be two kilometers. So actually, this will just do it. How far away is our target? Apparently, this is not close enough. So let's go ahead and... I love, by the way, that the ghosted nodes now show up over the... Um... over the edge of the screen. Whoever whoever did that, whoever's in charge of that, thank you. Have two different vessels in orbit of Kerbit within visual range of each other. How close do we have to be? There we go. Apparently we had to be within like 100 meters of each other. 
There you go. We are 60 meters apart. Jeb and Val. Well done, Kerbinauts. Okay, now we've done that. Let's go ahead and head back to the Space Center and see if we got any uh, new contracts we can do. While we're up here, we might as well farm that science and money. Let's see. Rescue someone. Um, protective shell. Yeah, we've already decided. No. Flight. Satellite. Satellite. Yeah, see, we have three satellite contracts now. This might be it. A tundra orbit. Inclination 116 degrees. That's more than negative. Huh. And this is going to be a lot of fuel to do all three of these orbits, so it's probably not worth it to try. Although that's, I mean, that's a lot of money. But we don't need money. We're, we're doing fine on money right now. What I want is I want a moon contract. That's not plant. I want like orbit the moon and things like that. Okay, let's go ahead and bring bring our boys home. Too bad if you hit. Too bad you should be able to hit M. Let's go ahead and bring Jeb home first. You should be able to hit M in the space interview and go to the tracking station. This is basically map mode. Okay, get out of target mode. How are we doing as far as? Oh yeah, we can. We can come down now. Okay, we want our periapsis to be somewhere in the vicinity of 30. Wait until we see our first flames, and then we will uh, we'll ditch the engine then. Not in any particular hurry. Well, I am in a little bit of a hurry. I would like this to happen someday. Do I have, like, flames turned off in config options or something? <laughs> I think I might. Let me hit F11 and see. Nope. Let's go and do the surface mode or retrograde. Perfect. There we go. Now I'm seeing flames. Just took a while. It just took longer than I expected. For funds, let's uh, take a crew report. Nope, we don't need one. Now, we also have this contract here for 10 to 20 meters per second under 10 kilometers. 10 to 200, I should say, not 10 to 20. So uh, essentially what we're going to do is when we get to 11-ish kilometers or so, we're going to hit the drogue chute, which I've put in its own stage, even though it wasn't before. Uh, we're going to hit the drogue chute, let that slow us down, and then... Um, Hit the main chute as soon as we can uh, to complete the contract. And we can do it now. Drogue shoot. Now we're just waiting for the speed to get below 200. And now. Good job, Jeb. Still managed to land in the dark. Okay, have we been here before? Yes. Okay, it is totally Valentina's turn. This seems to be as good a place as any to burn down. Valentina's going to basically do the same thing. And obviously, we don't need to test anything or do anything, so uh, I think I'm going to bid you adieu here. I think we can safely assume that Valentina is going to uh, safely land her ship in a tumbly fashion. <laughs> And uh, I will talk to you next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm HMV and I will. As always, talk at you later.